So guys, we had actually discussed the UI actions concept in our previous sessions. Okay. Today we are going to discuss about UI pages concept. UI pages concept. What are these UI pages? Why do we use these UI pages? Okay. What are these UI pages and why do we use these UI pages? Okay. So here UI pages are nothing but web pages. Web pages. So let me just go here. Let me just type UCS Infotech. So this is actually our website. Okay. This is actually domain. Website domain. UCS Infotech.com. So if you just click on here all courses this is actually called page this is actually another page on the website this is actually a web page in technical term we call it as web page similar way similar to this web page we can create a web page on the service now as well ui pages are nothing but web pages okay so here, if you scroll little down here, so here, if you just click on power apps here, this is also a page. This is a separate page, separate page for power apps training. Okay. So similar to this page, we can also create a web page on the service now as well. Okay. We can create a web page on the service now as well. So those are called UI pages. Those are called UI pages. So how do we create the UI page? How do we create the UI page? And all how uh, what is the prerequisites to um, work on UI pages and all we are going to learn in today's session. So let me just navigate to my PDI. Okay. So here in the application navigator, you can just type UI page, UI pages. You can just click on UI pages here. So remember one thing guys, to work on this UI pages, you need basic knowledge on HTML, CSS, JavaScript are required. So however, in the organizations, people very rarely use this UI pages. But the problem is, once you get the requirement on UI pages, nobody will be able to assist you. That is why you, we have to learn. Okay. So here, you will not get much requirements on UI pages. But the problem is, once you get the requirement, right? Once in a while, you will get the requirement. So during that time, it is very difficult to, uh, you know, get the uh, support from someone. So it is better to learn ourselves. And then it is better to complete that. Okay. So then, so the prerequisites to uh, uh, work on this UI pages is that you need basics, basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is required. Okay. So here, right, I am just creating new here. New UI page here. Okay. So this UI page is actually, uh, what do we say? So welcome message. So here, right, you can see this is actually HTML field. You have to write only HTML tags here. So here you can learn HTML from the W3 schools. Okay, in the W3 schools also you can learn HTML here. Okay. So guys, there are a lot of channels available on the YouTube. 
there are a lot of channels available on the YouTube uh, where you can learn some HTML tags. Guys, be telling you frankly, this is an easy one. HTML tags are a bit easy ones. You can easily learn these things. Okay. CSS. You will actually enjoy uh, learning CSS as well. Okay. HTML, CSS are actually easy ones. Comparatively, JavaScript. This HTML, CSS are easy ones. Here, you can just uh, go through any, um, uh, any channel on the YouTube where you will be able to learn HTML, CSS. See, guys, remember one thing. This will be useful in your long run, not only for service now. Okay, this HTML, CSS courses are useful in the in your long run. Okay, so I would recommend you guys to go through some HTML content and CSS content over the YouTube and get expertise in these areas as well. Okay. So some HTML tags, some HTML tags, let me just show you. So these are called header tags, header one. These are called uh, tags, H1 tag. H1 tag means header tag. P1 tag means paragraph tag. So here, if you just click on try yourself, see header means this is heading. So heading is actually showing in bold letters, right? This is paragraph. Paragraph is actually showing in a paragraph, right? So what I am doing here is here I'm I'm taking both these two here. So I'm taking this HTML tags. I am just keeping in the UI page here. Okay, I'm just changing the content. In, inside this H1 tags, I'm just changing the content. Hmm? So what I do, I'll actually keep uh, paragraph tag first. And then I want to keep H1 tag later. So here what I what I will keep UCS Infotech. Okay. This is actually a break tag. I'm actually giving break. BR means break. So just saving this one, saving the UI page. This is a simple, very basic UI page, guys. If you just click on try it here. So it is actually showing something, this one. Hmm. The UI page is actually showing something like this one. We do one thing instead of break tag, we will use div tag. So it is looking like this one. Welcome to UCS Infotech. Okay. So you have actually created a very basic UI page. This UI page can be called in client side. This UI page, you can call it in the UI policies. This UI page, you can call it in the client scripts. This UI page, you can call it in the UI actions. In the server side UI action, you cannot actually call this UI page. You can only call this UI page in the client side UI actions. So you all know, right? Client side UI actions are separate. Server side UI actions are separate. So you can call this UI pages only on the client side UI actions. Okay. So now what I am trying, trying to tell you is you can call this UI pages in the any client side scripting. Any client side scripting I'm telling you. So now what, what we have actually created a table, right? Demo incident table, right? So let me just go to the demo incident table. 
so every time when i open the form demo incident form it has to show welcome to ucs infotech every time when they open the new every time when they open the new demo incident form they have to show the welcome message welcome to ucs infotech so every time when i open the form means we have to write on load client script right the form will be loaded every time when you open the form the form will be loaded right then we have to write on load client script in the on load client script we have to call the ui page did you guys understand what what i'm trying to tell so now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a client script on load client script on the demo incident table welcome page on load client script only for new records only it should appear right you have to keep condition if so what condition we have to keep tell me so if, if the form is new record g underscore form dot is new record only then we have to call that ui page so guys here you there are actually two ways where you can call the ui page there are two 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 ways where you can call the ui page so the first one is actually client dialog window where gdw is equal to new client dialog window so this is actually a client side api like user api glide user api like glide form api like glide ajax api like glide list api glide dialog window is actually another api in the client side which we will use to call the ui pages in the client side we use this glide dialog window api to call the ui pages in the client side see glide user to get the current logged in user information in the client side glide form to make any changes on the form glide ajax to get the database values to the client side and glide list it will only work on the list okay glide dialog window is used to get the ui pages to the client side to call the ui pages on the client side we will use glide dialog window so here inside this glide dialog window you have to provide the ui page name what is the ui page name here so welcome message is actually the ui page name so you will actually call the ui page name here okay so we are not done yet we are to uh, render this one so gdw dot render only when you write this line of script the ui page will be called if you don't write render function the ui page will not be called so now what i am going to do is i am going to click on this one save if i go to the demo incident form a message is being shown or not welcome to ucs infotech so only for the new record only it will appear only for the new record only it will appear if you open existing records so these are actually existing records if you open this one so it will not show the message it will, it will not show the ui page are you able to see the ui page here no only for the new records every time when you refresh this one you will be able to see welcome to ucs input you can you can make this even more colorful you can make this even more colorful by using html css you can more make this even more colorful okay clear right okay so today we are able to understand what is ui page ui page is something like web page okay you can call the ui page anywhere in the client side it can be ui policy in the ui policy also there is an option to write the script so there also you can call the ui page in the client script also you can call the ui page in the 
in the ui actions also client side ui actions also you can call the ui page so what is the syntax to call the ui page in the client side is that you have to use glide dialog window api to call the ui page in the client side okay glide dialog window api so in place of glide dialog window you can also use glide model okay you can use glide model api okay to get the ui pages in the client side okay let me just save this one so if you refresh this one this is a new form right it is showing like a model okay so you can use glide model to populate to pop to call the ui page you can also use glide dialog window to call the ui page okay did you guys notice one thing here it is bitting it is bit looking like a uh, bit advanced here it is actually showing on top here it was showing in the middle it is showing on the top both are used to get the uh, ui pages in the client side both are used to call the ui pages in the client side so you can use either of them okay so if you want to make it more uh, user friendly and if you want to make it look good it is better to use glide model 